Let's get back to that verse of the Quran where Allah says, when a calamity strikes, you are supposed to declare your closeness to Allah and confirm that you are going to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember that. So that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us. When a problem happens, it's not the end of the world. But even if it was the end of the world, who would you return to? To Allah. So you say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Nothing can be bad for a mu'min. There is another way that the Prophet ﷺ has taught us to react. You know, Abu Sufyan, before he was a Muslim, he was the leader of the Meccans, the Meccan army. And prior to him being a leader, he was one of the top leaders. But after the death of Abu Jahl, etc., he became the leader. He prepared an army to come back to attack Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the Meccans had sent a huge army to come and attack and the Mu'mineen were small in number 313 small number they were not even prepared with their own weapons and what happened the army had come forth and they were coming someone got to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and told him that Abu Sufyan and them are coming and this is the condition upon which they are coming which means they're heavily armed. You know what? Allah mentions this in the Quran. Allah says, do you remember the time when the people came to the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and told him that those people are coming those people are coming, you need to be scared of them, you need to fear them, you need to watch out for them. And what did the Prophet ﷺ do? What happened to the true believers? Allah says, it increased their conviction. It made them firm in their faith. And they said, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best disposer of our affairs. My brothers, my sisters, when Allah closes a door for you, and a second door and a third door and a fourth door it is because the fifth door will lead you to a place way beyond the first four doors you have to be convinced you tried something allah closed the door you came out again you tried something allah closed the second door and the third whether it was a marriage and you ended up divorced once twice thrice some of some of the brothers and sisters especially the sisters who've been divorced more than twice they will tell you i've given up now I'm not going to marry. Why? Perhaps the next man or the one after the next man will be such a lovely person that you'll forget about the other five characters that you were married to. Yes. But if you stop, that's where everything stops. You gave up, that's where your hope stops. Allahu Akbar. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for me, for us. And he is the best disposer of our affairs. Allah says, the verse after that, what a beautiful verse. فَانْقَلَبُوا Allahu Akbar. Allah says, as a result of that conviction that they had and the dua that they made, حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ We actually converted for them whatever there was in terms of fear that they may have been or may have been warned about into a beautiful coolness, a calmness, success and victory. How did victory come? They reacted correctly.